G'day guys, this is Tier, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm going to quickly be going over all of the relevant information that you need to know in regards to the new camp slots feature that has been added into Fallout 76. Let's get into it. So basically, first of all, let's take a look at our camp. If you open up the map menu, you'll be able to see it right here, and you'll be able to click on it and see you have a few new options. Firstly, you can rename your camp. As you can see, I've renamed it to Freya's Sanctuary, so it suits my character. And then secondly, you can change the icon. You can change it to a lot of different icons. Some of them range from Fallout 4 to new ones that were added in Fallout 76. There's a lot of options here. I've chosen to go with a umbrella type of thing since it is called a sanctuary. And then thirdly, you can choose whether or not you want it to show on the map for other players. See right now, I have it set to on so that it is radiating and pulsating for me with that yellow ring around it. But if I were to change it to off, that pulsating feature goes away, and that means that this icon, my camp, will not show up on the map for other players. Now additionally, you might have noticed these two extra icons at the bottom of our camp. The red nuclear warning symbol indicates that this camp has a shelter, and the green bottle cap icon indicates that there are vendors here at this camp. And as you can see for these other players' camps, the same thing is true. These players obviously have their camps set to show their location. As you can see, they have shelters and vendors at their camps as well. And if you were to simply delete the entrance to your shelter or delete all of your vendors at your camp, then those two icons were to simply disappear. But now this brings us to the topic of how do we actually activate the camp slots feature. As you can see up here in the top left, we have camp slots. And if we press down on the D-pad to expand it, we have number one and number two. Number one has been renamed to Freya's Sanctuary. Obviously that is the camp I am currently located at. That's the one I've been showing you in this video. But then we have camp two and it says that it is unplaced. So simply to place it, we have to click it, we have to activate the camp, and this will, after a moment's delay, it will unactivate the original camp that you had activated. See, this is no longer bright yellow, it is slightly greyed out, and if I were to exit the start menu, you can see that the entire camp has disappeared, it is no longer there, and I fell off the cliff. <laughs> and now to activate and place down our second camp, we must find a suitable location that we want it placed down at. To do this, we will be simply opening our Pip-Boy and clicking the prompt that says move camp for however many caps it may cost you. We will do this and then click A to accept. It will ask you, are you sure you want to place your camp? This being camp 2, we will just simply say yes. And there we have it. The second camp has been placed. And if we simply look at our map, we have Freya Sanctuary and the one that we just placed down called camp 2. We click on it, we can rename it to whatever we want. We can change it so that it can show on and off on the map and we can change the icon. I'm going to make it a skull and crossbones and name it as the test site. So there we go, this is camp test, just to show you guys how it works. And simply, if we would like to go back to our original camp, we just press down on the D-pad again to expand the camp slots, and we can choose between up here in the top left of our two available camps. Raise Sanctuary, let's activate that, and after a moment's delay, it will unenable the camp that we just placed down and re-enable our original camp. So then if I were to turn around, yep, up there we can see our original camp is loading into frame. It is slowly rebuilding itself exactly how I left it. So yeah guys, it's as simple as that. If you want to have multiple camps, so far we can only have two at a time on each character. Simply just do what I said in this video and you will be able to easily switch in between your two desired camps. I'll just do it one last time just for the sake of it. We're going to be removing our sanctuary camp by activating the other one called test. There we go, it is activated and Sanctuary is no longer activated. This one just disappeared before my very eyes and the other one down there is now activated. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. A massive shout out to all my current Patreons. Thank you all so much for your continued support on the channel. If you'd like to be like them and have your name at the end of each video with some other cool bonuses, be sure to check that out in the description below along with my other social medias like Twitter and the link to my Discord. And be sure to subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy. I've been Tia. And I'll catch us in the next one. Welcome to Valhalla.